Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev. Welcome to uh, Sons of the Forest. Now I've been watching a lot of people do different takes on this game. We're going to do things a little bit different. This is going to be focused on the solo survival mode. And I'm going to show you guys what to do once you hit the ground. Where to go for a good base. All kinds of good stuff in this series. And then we're going to basically systematically go through and clear all the caves. So... Kick back, relax, play along with me if you want. We're just going to do single player, new game. Normal. All right, and we're in game. So, something to keep in mind. See this area right down here? That orange thing? It's got a shark swimming around it. You're going to get chewed on. You can get it. But that's where the 9mm handgun is. So that's one thing that we're going to get. First thing. Uh, well, we're going to get our base set up, then we'll get it. Because we'll want that when we start going after and going into some of these caves. A lot of the caves, um, I've seen two different types of caves for my playtesting. And so far is one leads into a facility, underground facility. And another is just you find stuff by going deeper and deeper into the cave system. So, all right. So we got three people we're, we're trying to find. It's our site map. As soon as you hit this, the game begins. We all fight our own demons. Anyways, fish eye. What a name. Okay. That shot. That was a gunshot. So we got shot down. All these things are important if we ever want to solve and beat this game. And you land in multiple spots. I've landed in two different areas. Oh, I know where I am. Good. This will make it real easy for us. We are in the second spot that I know of. The caves all seem to be in the same location. What you get in the caves kind of is randomized like the suitcases, but there are certain things, certain things you can make only in those caves. One of the reasons why I want to set my base up where I'm going to. What's up, dude? You, you've made some poor, you made a poor decision, friend. Oh. Does no one think to pull yourself up onto the rudder, go right towards the tree, then go climb down the tree? We just all say, screw it. Okay. Screw it. Next question we're all asking. Will we have to fight this guy at some point? Mm. All right. Here we go. Woo. So, when this game originally came out, the very first one, I was looking at my Steam library. I put in over a hundred hours. And this is very similar to this uh, very first game. And yeah, we're going to want some rocks. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to want to carry them. But, I get, pick up all the various things first. Ooh. That was weird. Paper, it said? Alright, that's a new one. That's ammo. That's new. But like I said, I know right where to get a 9mm. Bunch of batteries. Could we have a flashlight, maybe? Probably not. We'll have to find that. Ah, inkjet. I know what that's for, too. C4, because, you know, that's not going to go wrong. Flares. All right, hold on, Kevin.
Alright, so, for right now, we just want him to follow me. And... Dude's got blown out of your drums. Alright, first things first... We want to open our emergency pack. I just like having a weapon in my hand. Alright, there's our little map doohickey thingy. Okay, so... That's the mountain. Where we want to go is right down this way. Kevin should follow us. But my plan is we're going to come down here. We're going to set up a base. And while setting up the base, we're going to scavenge for food. Die! Why can't you die? Why don't you die? Oh, no! No, he's getting away! Get some. Now, what do we get out of this? Just deer hide? Really? No meat? Animal hide? Okay. And we got a bunch of meat. Alright, that'll be good. We'll need that. We are right by where we need to go. Oh, other thing we should do. Pop our meds. All right, so far we got a whole lot of nothing. We got a paper target, huh? Tarp, knife, all kinds of doohickeys. Predator resin, that's the important one. That's the one that's going to help us with stuff. Then up here, we're going to get a uh, crossbow, crossbow bolts, 9mm, uh, more bolts. We got our backpack. All right. I don't know. Yeah, Kevin should be right down. Ooh. We're going to need feathers at some point. All right. Let's see. Ta-da! We're close. More stuff to grab. Ooh, MRE. That'll be helpful. So we got oh the can opener that is going to be really important rope money for starting fires nice wire stuff to make Molotovs Horse tail, huh? We'll have to screw with that later. All right. We are really close to our base. It's actually just right down this way. I'm gonna hook around this edge. Da -da! Here we go. This is a nice, this is a great spot for a base, right? A nice waterfall. We've got a cave to go up there, and that cave is safe to go into. Uh, it, and we're gonna do that after we set up our base. So first thing, is we want him to get logs. And drop them here.
All right, and while he's gonna do that, we've got to make a log cabin and then a short, it'll take us a while to make a log cabin even with him helping us. So, we'll build a lean to to begin with. I just know we're going to need a bunch of that. Okay. Da, 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 da. And old habits die hard. I like normally building things like right up against. But I don't feel like running back and forth quite so much in this one. So I will put it right here. Hit B. Pull up your build menu. And I wouldn't use that side. If you, It's good for a few things. Right? But to do those, you need to have those things in your hands. You drop them onto the ground, and then you do various things, right? We want to get things done. We're just going to take and put in a, a shelter right here. Okay. Oh, no! He's not paying attention. I told him to do it too close. I need to move it. Tell him to... Oh. Hey, Kevin. Hey. All right, right there. Let's drop him right here. Yeah? Okay. Nope, oh, I'm short a couple rocks. I heard something. So what the? I want to make sure you got extra sticks. Oh, I guess I'll eat some of that. Cool. Should have enough. start a new save for this one so those are my test saves I'm trying a couple of different things so things to keep in mind now, let's put this away we don't need the map for this because we got to start really building stuff here but you want so this should always fall away from me, right? So you see why I'm cutting here? The weak side, for some reason, the way the devs set this up is that's the way they fall, right? Versus a real tree wouldn't do that. <laughs> but it's all good. But if you want uh, something, uh, if you want to get rid of stumps, Then now that's going to take a whole lot of work to finish. Nice. Keep going, Kevin. You're doing great. Okay. 
So that's going to take a while while he's working on that. So to craft a bow, you need a rope, tape, and two sticks. All right. So one thing I would suggest doing, and it's something that I've been trying to do, is I'm writing stuff down as I go because it seems like, let's say I've got enough to do two crafted bows, right, to make two of them. Once I make it, once, it won't show back up in the menu again. So if you want to, just in case, I'm writing stuff down because I have no idea on dur durability if there's any in the game. So, one sec. Right, that's, yeah, the tape. And a crafted spear. Oh, I don't have enough tape to do both of them. Oh, no. Well, the spear is uh, going to be more useful to us. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Okay, and then... Oh, yeah, the knife. Fine. There we go. So as long as you know the first part and we haven't gotten cat food yet but I know where the cat food is okay and we got meat and the thing with meat is you're gonna want to cook it and eat it pretty quickly it does spoil so I should have Oop. yeah let's get rid of this guy too quick one yeah. thinking about it All right, so to make a fire, equip a stick. You can see on the ground. So you can break the sticks to make a fire, or the circle means you'll stick it up on its end. And when these uh, cannibals start coming at us, you can put the heads of the cannibals you kill on sticks, and it scares them off. We'll get around to that. And then we come with a lighter. There we go. I want to throw all the meat on there. We got a little cash up here. That's the other thing that I got to screw around with. I can show you guys. You got LED lights on these. All right, this right here. Let's see. Boink. There we go. And let's keep our that in our hand. All right. So you're just going to want to wait. Eat one and probably save the other two. There we go. Put the lighter away. All right, so while he's working on this, the only thing is, is he doesn't really listen very well. Really? Well, I thought you could... Maybe that's only seagulls. But what we'll do... is I'm going to show you guys where the ink printer is. So all we got to do is basically go straight up that way. He won't come into these installations with you. At least he hasn't yet with me. Yeah, we got everything. But the plan is, as we're going here, we're, we're going to build everything out, get our base built first, because there are seasons in this game. And then, oops, never heard describe those. Um, we're going to see about going through and systematically going through all of the cave systems. At least that's the current plan, but as, as always, it's up to you guys. 
We'll keep those. I think those are poisonous. Okay. Oh, I remember these. We were real close. Nope. Should be... Ooh, what is that? What was that? What did we just get? A stun baton! Ooh wee! See, now aren't you guys glad you guys? Now, next question. Always check the waterfalls. Okay. So it should be... Yeah, here it is. Wow, this is... I've been to this one multiple times. I cannot believe I missed that. That's this game, though. Um... So that we can ours the tape to make our bow. One of the problems I'm gonna have is trying to put all of this stuff. In the description. So you guys know what all is going on, but by the time we're done, I mean, Okay, so we don't have any arrows yet. Right? And arrows are... I think they take more tape, so we need to get more tape. Couple MREs. Ooh! Oh, I don't have any rags, that's why. Okay. This isn't the right one I wanted to show you guys. We'll go in anyways. Alright, there we go, now we got cloth. Cat food. Oh. And I have turned the gamma. I turned things up a little bit here so that... You guys can actually see what's going on. Because every time I've seen someone go into these tunnels, you can't see. At least you guys can see what's going on here. That turns it on and off. And if you go in here, it drops down. I want to grab a skull. You can go down that way, and then there are nasty guys down there that we're not armed up and ready to fight yet. We'll take that rope, though. See what I'm saying? See that thing down there? We could probably kill that, but there's this giant thing that looks like it's got a whole bunch... It's like a mouth of a body. We're not there yet. But that's fine. This is only one of them. I, I have an in general idea where the other one is. general in this direction there is another one actually now I remember what to do where is the dots actually this direction we need to go and the old game you saw people doing this constantly 
It's because you could actually go faster if you went at a direction. And, uh, jumped at the same time. That's how those speedrunners started doing it. Just a weird bug from the original game. Or oh, this might be the thing we actually, yeah, that dot might be the, the location. I was looking for. It's hidden too. See? There we go. This, so, the first one I took you to with the boards, that means that there is um, a, there's stuff in there, but you're going to have to fight a bunch of monsters and go deep. So far, these aren't as bad. Now, it could be different going forward, but this one I know of. Shouldn't be an issue for us. Ta da Inkjet printer, so we can make arrows. We'll use some of that resin we had before. That would really be nice if that's a, uh, there's an armor set that we can build like that. 250 milliliters times 10 to make that. Alright. Take all those. And... Flask. So, when we want to start going out and going through and checking out all the caves and stuff, we're not going to have to worry about water. We'll have a flask. Let's see. So we've got cat food, crafted club, leap farmer, Maltov, repair tool, torch. Yeah, the Maltovs have always been fun. All right, what else can we make? Now the mask. I think we put the mask on when the cuckoo guys are coming at us. Some of the and, and it might scare them off. I don't know. We're gonna make it though. Grappling hook. Okay. And until we get our log cabin built, all that's going to stay on our screen. Sorry about that, but... All right, and what else? Tech mesh. I think I have another four or five of those. So. Ooh, new, I was hoping a new crafting recipe would pop up. What, what do we get? Let's see. So we got a zipline rope. Torch, repair, Motov. Leaf armor. Craft, okay. I wonder if we have to make... Ten... Mm. Well, well, that's working. Got more tape. Batteries. That's for a flashlight, which we'll probably have to find inside of a cave somewhere. Everything in the bins is randomized. Circuit board. Oh.
And if you want to make this like your base, I don't see why you couldn't. I mean, you can sleep here. I'm going to go ahead and save just in case. Did I? Yes, I did use all of my stuff. There it is, tech armor. That's what I was looking for. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Okay, where did the mesh go? Where's the mesh? Oh, probably up here, maybe? Oh, there it is. Jeez. Nice. I didn't put it on. All right. No. F oh, oh, I do have a flat jacket. I wonder why it won't let me put it on. Put it on, dude. All right, whatever. What is this? Animal hide. All right, zipline rope. Other thing is, this is a safe spot. Nothing's going to attack us here, so... Repair tool, torch. All right, all good stuff. Okay. I don't want to spend any more stuff here. I think that's it. A sled. What the hell? Why not? Oh, no! Well, eventually, we'll find more stuff. A little Roomba going around there. Some wire. Not to watch us. And it looks like we need a blue key card. Which I'd assume we're going to find as we go through all these other things, right? All these other spots. So. Well, there we go. Showed you guys where to really set yourself up well in the first episode. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to start working on getting this base built. That's going to take some time. And as always, it just depends. If you guys keep smashing that like button, I'll put these out as quick as I can. But, you know, that's also depends on all the other games we're playing and how much you guys like those. So, oh, I don't think I can do my map, can I? Oh, how funny. But Kevin should be right in front of us. So, when we come back in the next episode, we'll be further along in our base. Hopefully, we'll get some critters showing up. So, keep your heads down, your warriors of doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.